So the first thing we do, like let me show you an example here. The first thing we should do is we should review the animation and see what it does. And you can do that by opening up the format panel and the animations uh, pane and open up the build order widget. And so from there, you can preview the animation. You can see what it does. This is a pretty basic animation for this example. And you'll notice the animation is pretty small on the slide, and maybe I want to make that larger. You can go ahead and you can you know, duplicate the slide uh, to try to make the edits, um, but you can't really scale it up gracefully. Um, things don't scale up. You can't scale up a whole group together, and if you literally group it, the animation goes away. So what happens when you have a file and you're like, I really need this animation bigger, and I don't want to rebuild it? Uh, so you can ungroup it, you can take the long way. In this case, it wouldn't be too bad because this is a pretty basic animation. All the shapes are the same size. Um, they're all, I could just scale them up individually and just kind of relay them out. Um, unfortunately, the real world isn't so friendly with animations. They're not so simple all the time. So you see that it's pretty easy here. Let me get them exactly where I want them to go. And then you can play through. <clears throat> you see they're larger here. This is the, the long way, and this works perfectly for this example. It's totally fine. Um, but for other examples, it may not be so nice. You can see here that it is playing totally fine. Here we go. Um, so my workaround is very simple once you get the hang of it. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is create an extract of the slide in question. Um, by clicking on the thumbnail and dragging it to your desktop. And then you can open up um, that file, and you can export it as an image. So it, uh, any kind of image works. JPEG is fine. You're just using this as an example. So when you have that image exported, you're going to go ahead and bring that image back into the original presentation. Um, it's going to, when you bring it in, you're going to notice that it actually looks identical to start um, because obviously you just saved it out as an image, so you're bringing back the exact same thing. Uh, so to avoid getting confused, I would zoom out, I would scale up that image, and I would lower the opacity so that you can see what you're working with. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that sizing. We want to know exactly how big we want the animation to be. So I'd size it. Um, if you want to, you can align it to where you want it to go. And then you want to take note of the size of the image that you have. And now we can resize the extract. So we'll open that extract back up. We'll go in, we'll go to edit the slide size, and you'll just edit that image size to the, the same size as the image you scaled up. So obviously it's going to look exactly the same because the same aspect ratio is there, so there's no change there. Uh, so now you can select the animation, not the whole slide. You'll just grab that animation, uh, Command-C, uh, close the file, and then you're going to paste that over into the new file. And you can align that there, and so you'll automatically have your resized file. Once you delete everything, you can play through it and make sure. And you'll see that it does the exact same thing. So very basic, but very handy when you have a really complex animation or you're working in an event and you don't have time to scale everything up. Uh, it's just kind of a little backways trick. <laughs>